Ever wondered which countries have earned a reputation for their directness or cultural nuances that might be misunderstood as rudeness? Today, we're diving into the intriguing topic of the top 10 rudest countries in the world. Are these perceptions grounded in reality? Or are they just cultural quirks waiting to be explored? So, let's find out. Number 10. Brazil. These people are renowned for their warmth and friendliness, though their cultural norms might initially surprise visitors. Direct communication and a comfortable proximity in personal space are common in Brazil, reflecting the nation's vibrant and open social atmosphere. The perceived lack of personal space is a manifestation of the Brazilian people's genuine and welcoming nature, creating an environment where connections are quickly formed. Number 9. Italy. Animated conversations and expressive gestures are integral to the vibrant culture. While outsiders might initially perceive such fervent interactions as rudeness, they are, in fact, a reflection of the passionate and lively Italian communication style. Italians often use animated gestures to convey emotions and emphasize points in conversations, showcasing a cultural richness that values vibrant expression. Number 8. Japan. Japanese culture places a strong emphasis on formality, mirroring the respect for hierarchical structures. This commitment to propriety and reserved behavior can be misunderstood as aloofness, especially by those unfamiliar with cultural nuances. The Japanese value maintaining a harmonious social order, and expressions of politeness, restraint, and adherence to protocol are deeply ingrained. Consequently, the apparent formality may create a barrier for outsiders. Number 7. South Korea. In cultures with hierarchical social structures, such as in parts of South Korea and Japan, an emphasis on formality might create an impression of coldness or aloofness. This behavior, deeply rooted in cultural norms, reflects respect for authority and adherence to societal roles. The apparent reserve is not indicative of rudeness, but rather a manifestation of the structured and formal nature of social interactions within these societies. Let's take a pause and recall your memory. Have you ever had a surprising encounter in a foreign country that challenged your expectations of politeness? Feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. Number 6. United Kingdom. British reserve and humor, often dry or subtle can be misunderstood by those unfamiliar with the culture. The reserved demeanor may come across as aloofness, but it's a cultural norm rather than rudeness. The unique British sense of humor, reliant on irony and understatement, might not resonate with everyone, leading to perceived insensitivity. It's essential to recognize these traits as cultural nuances rather than indicators of intentional rudeness, fostering a better understanding of interpersonal dynamics in a diverse world. Number 5. Germany Germans prioritize punctuality and direct communication, reflecting cultural norms rather than rudeness. The emphasis on efficiency and clarity can be misunderstood as brusqueness, especially by those accustomed to different communication styles. Understanding this cultural trait is crucial to appreciating the German approach, where promptness and straightforwardness are expressions of respect and professionalism. Number 4. United States. The American direct communication style, often mistaken for rudeness, is rooted in a cultural emphasis on efficiency. Americans prioritize clarity and brevity to convey information quickly and effectively. This straightforward approach aims to streamline communication processes, emphasizing a results-driven conversation rather than prolonged discourse. Number 3. China. In bustling urban environments, the rapid pace of life can create an illusion of rudeness as individuals seem hurried. This perception, however, is frequently a consequence of the frenetic and demanding nature of city living. In such environments, People often navigate through crowded spaces with efficiency, focusing on tight schedules and numerous commitments. 
Consequently, the apparent haste may be a response to the demands of a bustling lifestyle rather than a deliberate display of rudeness. Number two, Russia. These communication norms often appear reserved, which may be misconstrued as rudeness. However, this demeanor is rooted in cultural characteristics rather than intentional impoliteness. Russians tend to value privacy and may not express emotions as openly as in some other cultures. This reserved nature reflects a cultural emphasis on maintaining personal space and a more subdued approach to communication. Number one, France. French communication norms, often seen as reserved by travelers, stem from cultural differences rather than rudeness. The French value a certain level of formality and considerate discourse, which might contrast with more overtly friendly approaches in other cultures. Reserved demeanor, rather than a lack of friendliness, reflects a preference for maintaining a certain level of personal space and formality. Understanding these cultural nuances is key to appreciating the richness of interactions in this country. Thanks for joining us. Traveling offers a chance to appreciate diverse communication styles. Keep in mind, understanding and respect are essential in bridging cultural gaps. If you found this video intriguing, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more insightful content, and hit the notification bell.